name is Mike, and uh, before I share it today, I would like to share a picture. Um, it's actually a snapshot of Michael using uh, uh, last year. And at that time, I think everything is going regularly on a student. But when it, when it comes to like in the vacations or in the weekend, in the situation that actually look, no one is restraining, things going uncontrolled. Like my time seems to control. I will pick up my phones in the first moment as I wake up in the morning, and I will not put it out until 2 a.m. So this situation continue until I know a piece of knowledge. That piece of knowledge that's changed my life entirely. So I fairly believe that after these presentations, everyone can uh, be benefited by the approach. And it also help everyone to deal with fluentiction. So to understand why from addictions, we need to first understand dopamine. Some people will know that the dopamine is actually a chemical that's in your brain release happiness. But more accurately, dopamine is actually the chemicals in your brain that's telling you certain behavior is beneficial or pleasurable by reinforcing a certain movement. For example, like when you drop a delicious bubble of teeth, you uh, mind, mind release dopamine. This will ring things on your brain that you will keep doing this in next time. Because you believe that this actually something is good, it's pleasurable for yourself. Same situation happening when you finish a, a five million of long, your brain also releases dopamine. And such things can help you to keep doing such things and form such habitats. And both of the examples is actually called a natural rewarding system. So let us stimulate this scenario. For example, when you finish uh, like a two page of the book, this is what your brain like. This is dopamine. They will strike quickly in your brain and you will feel it. And such dopamine will make you feel this behavior actually is beneficial for your survival. So you will keep doing it. So, the natural rewarding system actually is something that is can do for your health and good for your survival. But however, the issue faced today is our nowadays technology breaks such natural mechanisms by providing excessive dopamine. For example, like when you play after you play a video game or on TikTok, watch your uh, favorite vlogger. This is what your brain like. I mean, whoa. This is out of control. And this dopamine, the worst thing is your brain have tolerance on this. Like for the both brain, if you finish, uh, finish a book, your life will, whoa, well, it's great. I'll keep doing these things. But for this part, whoa, well, like, your right brain will go, what is special about this? I need more excitement. So your brain will continue doing, you know, need more excitement behavior, like your phone, your gaming. So, and the more serious question is people become, everything is meaningless. Like I feel so boring beside of my phone. So this is what happened to me, uh, this powerful addiction. Oh. So after we understanding the factors, we come to the solutions. So one solution is most useful for me is that avoid using your phone in the first hour of the morning. Have you ever experienced that like when you wake up, you initially want to check your message and the result will always go into your devote in your own morning on it. So this method actually helped because it reduced the likelihood of your spend your entire day on it. In your morning time, actually, is you have a pick of your uh, self control, your concentrations. It is the perfect status that you acquire knowledge. So 
such behavior actually, such status is really flag dopamine. It didn't experience such dopamine rush. So in the morning time, actually, it's the best time. And the setting strategies create inconvenience or barriers to access to your smartphone. In the article that Automatic Habits, the author claims that sometimes the second is about making good habit easy, it's about making bad habit hard. So I think if somebody try to you know, suffer with smartphone addictions, they might see this page very often. For me, it's a usual. Like every time I uh, see this page, I will just automatically click the second choice. So, I know, so this barrier actually didn't work that effective because this is too weak. We can just, you know, click the second choice and this barrier is gone. So, what barrier that we need to face with smartphone addictions? Instead of using digital barrier, we use physical. Like, uh, like a time locker or just trust your parent or sibling, but do not tell your phone password to them. And for me, the most effective strategy is going to the physical library or the public library or the coffee shop. In the situation that is inconvenient for you to open your phones, because every time I go to the public library, when I check my phone, I feel everyone is looking at me, you know? I feel just be guilty and be judgmental because it's such behavior in that environment is being counted as inappropriate. So it's actually helped me really well on solving my smartphone addiction and it prevented me from my further smartphone behavior. So in conclusions, we're going through the smartphone addiction factors and the role of dopamine. In the wood of the hood is the mind is every the mind is everything is what you think and you become. Your brain seek pressures, but we have the power. We have the power to choose what brain it. So let's uh, let's reflect on our smartphone use, implicate the strategies, and just master our technology. Don't be enslaved by it.